vlog week number four. Oh my gosh okay so this morning I was like wait that means I've been doing this for a month that means this is like the month mark of or I guess isn't it anyways doesn't even matter this is week number four that's all that matters um so I don't know what is in store for this week. Today is Wednesday again. I decided to start my week on Wednesday again because Monday I spend all day editing the vlog and Tuesday I kind of just catch up with anything that isn't YouTube because, you know, I have other hobbies, I guess. So I just spend all day doing that. Um, I am in the process of writing something with friends so we have a lot of work to do so i spent yesterday you know working on that and then today i was spending all morning oh my god this dog stop these cur he's gonna break our curtain rod um and then today i spent all morning editing today's video that just went up so with that being said this week is now ready to be vlogged because i know you guys don't want to just watch me sit at my computer obviously um so yeah i don't know what's in store for this week all i know is that i need to continue with my workouts and i need to get my food together as i did last week i put on a wig this week because you guys saw my hair was fried from <laughs> the previous weeks of straightening and um, i'm gonna have i'm just what time is it it's almost two and I'm now about to have my first meal of the day. I'm gonna have some coffee and maybe some toast. I don't know. Um, our fridge is quickly emptying. You guys saw when I went grocery shopping. And now it's like I got some salad. I got some strawberries, a little bit of rice, milk, pita bread, a few falafel balls. Like I don't have much going on in here. So I need to figure that out. Um... Yeah, I need to cook something today. I don't know what, but right now I'm just gonna have some coffee because that's all my brain can think about. I purposely didn't eat because I was like, I don't know, I just, I just kind of felt discouraged <laughs> by the scale today. Not saying anyone should starve themselves if the scale has a couple extra pounds. I'm just saying that, um, yeah. I figured maybe I am consuming too many calories, maybe, but I just need to pay more attention to it. What should we have for breakfast besides coffee? I don't know. Cheers. I'm going to do this, figure out what I'm going to eat, and then we shall continue the vlog for the week, and hopefully this week's a good one. Maybe we will go somewhere today. Not today, sorry. Maybe we'll go somewhere this week. Not today because it's gloomy and it's gross outside, but maybe we'll just... Have a little vlog date, like just me and you, just the two of us, you know? <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll do that later this week. Hey guys, what's up? It's been a few hours. Um, I just did two, two back-to-back -back workouts with so much energy. Okay, let me show you what happened. Let me show you. So I remember that I got some stuff from Women's Best back in like November for um, Black Friday. And I ordered these burner capsules, and I never take them, so I took them out yesterday because I was like, I'm going to start taking them. Y'all, I don't know what's in here, but I was sick. I, I've been working out for the past hour, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but looking at the ingredients, it probably has, it has a lot of caffeine. I don't know how much, but I need to find out because, oh my god. Uh, I don't see it. I'm gonna have to check the website and I don't remember experiencing this last time I tried it But maybe I just didn't work out right after so I wouldn't really notice I'm still not tired like I could go for a walk Maybe not another workout. I probably could do another workout. I'm not going to because I already have burned like 600 calories <laughs> Um, this is crazy. So I'm gonna continue taking this you're supposed to take it one around lunchtime and one around dinner time before 5 p.m. though or something like that and you have to eat it with food and drink it with water like lots of water so you know there's something in your stomach there's not much in my stomach today so maybe that's why I have their protein powder and maybe I'll just have this in the mornings and this is not vegan but again there's a lot of things in this house that have dairy not a lot but there's a few things in the house that have dairy or maybe some sort of like meat byproduct or something that I just have to eat. Like, I can't just throw them out because I'm like vegan today, you know? So, and um, what else? I also have this other thing from them, if I can find it. Oh, okay. I have to, oh my God, I have to join a Zoom call. Okay, so this 
is the BCAA. This stuff tastes so good. Um, I should have been taking it while I was working out, but I didn't. So I'm not going to take it now. I have to join a Zoom call, and this is actually an important Zoom call, so I cannot be late. I'm all sweaty and gross. And this bundle came all together, so I'm assuming you can obviously take them together. But from looking at the ingredients, it doesn't have anything I'm seeing that would have caffeine. I'm going to take just a regular scoop like this. Put it in my water. It's really, really sweet. So sometimes I don't even like to do a full scoop. <clears throat> and, then, and Tara's body is the one that influenced me to buy this thing because... She uses it while she works out and it tastes really, really good. So I had to. Okay, so Zoom, five more minutes. Let's go join. I'm actually meeting up with my girls um, and we're working on, <clears throat> we're working on a script that we're writing. And we're actually meeting up with one of my friend's friends through Zoom to give us some advice because he's gone through the writing process. Um, and I did not watch the YouTube videos that I wanted to watch before this call, but let's just get into it. Um, set up my tripod. Okay. Oh, we're actually going to do it this way. Uh, whatever. Let me just join first. Look. We look okay. That's a workout glow. Okay. Okay, no one's in there yet. I'm just going to leave. And come back okay i have to tell you guys something crazy so back in february i auditioned for a huge role a lot of the things i've been auditioned for have been huge and my struggle is that i'm so close to like big opportunities that i get frustrated when i'm like how many do i have to audition for but to be honest i should just be even grateful that i'm getting these opportunities so i auditioned for a movie to play um, alongside Viola Davis which is crazy to even say like I'm so grateful for even being asked to send in an audition video <laughs> for such a big project anyways um I obviously I did not obviously but I did not get the role and it has now been announced who got it and let me show you guys she I honestly though I'm really happy about who they picked she will do this role justice let me see you guys can see that yeah so she is a south african actress she's already pretty established in her world of work she's also in the new barry jenkins movie underground railroad so so homegirl is about to blow up <laughs> you heard it here first um yeah i think she's gonna do amazing i really 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 do and i think i'm so happy they got an african girl who lives in South Africa that's where it's filming too um, she has the accent well she can put it on and she I'm pretty sure she can speak without it though very well but she has the accent she lives in South Africa she's beautiful like she looks the part she's gonna kill it but I definitely was like hmm, wish it was me I do I still do but I'm really happy that they didn't choose someone that I was like, oh my god, this movie's ruined. But like, Miss Viola would not do that. She knows. She's smart. She's also a producer for this movie, so she knows how to make this story um, the most authentic. And it is an African warrior movie based on real history, so you don't want to play with that. You have to do it justice. So I'm glad that they picked someone who would do it justice. And yeah, it's going to be good. Let me just drink this quickly because you have to drink it right after your workout apparently. Now we're joining the Zoom. Hey, what's up? Hey, not much. Just finished working out. Oh yeah. What workout did you do? I did. I did two. I took some like workout. I bought this some workout stuff a few like last year actually, and I haven't used them. So I took some pill. It's like a fat burner capsule. I think it has caffeine in it. Girl, I've been working out for an hour. <laughs> And I'm still not really? tired. I was like, this is scary. Yeah. So wow. I did I did two workouts back to back. Is it healthy though? 
I mean, I feel okay. Like, usually, you know, if you take too much, you, like, you'll feel jittery or something. Right. Yeah, but I feel fine. I just feel like I have energy. So, if I feel weird, then I won't take it. But I've taken it before, and I just, I guess I never worked out right after, so I never actually noticed how it helps. Right, so, right, right. Today, I used it right before my workout. It? It's from Women's Best. You know that brand? It's this, okay. this company, because I have... They have okay. a bunch of stuff, and, okay. and they're actually good. I, I noticed, like, this girl I follow who does workout videos always uses it, so that's why I bought it, but I'm impressed. Hello. Hey. Howdy, howdy. How are you? I'm good. Good. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Pierre. How's it going? Can't complain. Still not rich, but not homeless. <laughs> I feel you. Hey guys, we are back. That Zoom meeting was long as usual, um, but it was good. It was effective. It was productive. And I was actually cooking dinner at the same time, so I'll show you guys what I made. Um, so I made a potato hash. I don't know. Hash. Like I used white potatoes and sweet potatoes, and I seasoned them with rosemary and garlic and salt and pepper, Cajun, cayenne. That's basically what I used. And then I have a salad here. This is just a bag salad. It's an Italian salad. And then my protein. I made some jerk tofu. And it's basically ready. Yeah, so it's just jerk flavor, jerk seasoning on it with some bell peppers and some scallions. So that's my whole plate. Mainly vegetables. <laughs> I didn't really eat today, so this is fine. Okay. I hope everyone's day went well. I'm gonna eat my dinner at 9.30 p.m., which is awful, but that's just how it worked out, I guess. My goal tomorrow is to eat by seven. Now that the food's already made, though, I'll just eat the same thing. Anyways, today was a good day. I was feeling a little discouraged earlier when I was reading the headline for that new movie, but like I've been known I didn't get it. But it just, I have to stay encouraged because guys, when I get there, mark my words, you can come back to this video. The struggle has been real. I've been doing this for a hot minute. Ah, I can't even say that. People do this for like ever. Professionally, it's only been like two years, but I dedicated my life to learning, to making connections, and to growing in this industry but I just got into the right, I just got the right connections now. Everything will happen with time, but just know when you guys see that success, <laughs> don't think it happened overnight. And do not think it happened quickly or easily. I will have earned my slot. <laughs> I also feel like I need to be strategic and, you know, do something different because Something's not working. Which is why, honestly, I am hard on myself about my diet and exercise because I'm not a plus size movie character and I'm not an athletic, thin type of character. There's no in between, you know, you have to be one or the other and I can't gain 30 pounds, but I can lose a few pounds to fit me into a role that would be imagined for me as a taller black woman, I need to have my body together. <laughs> it has to be, to be honest. There's no excuse for it not to be, so that's why I'm so um, pressed on doing that right now. Especially before kids and stuff, like, I gotta get it together now before extra comes on top of that. That's just how I feel. Everyone can think differently and everybody can say, like, you know, body acceptance is, you know, good and yes but that's just not what I want for me I want to be in my best shape I want to be in the best shape I can be and be as fit as possible to open up opportunities for me and also to be healthier and to feel good about myself you need to be like damn she can whoop somebody's ass that's what I want to feel that's what I want when you see me you need to be a little shook I don't want to be like D's but I want to be athletic. I want to be strong. We're getting there. 
If you have been waiting for a sign to take your fitness and health seriously or take your job seriously or, you know, go the extra mile for whatever it is you want to do, here's the sign. This is it. Go do it. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to finish eating my dinner without choking myself while talking and going to hang out with Roman for the night. So I'll see you guys soon. Hello, guys. It's a new day. Um, I'm actually starting kind of late today. It's 2 p.m. And I had a Zoom meeting this morning and I was working on stuff this morning for um, some bridal stuff for Taylor. Um, so yeah, now I'm about to have lunch and then take my little <laughs> fat burning pill thing. And um, yeah, I'm gonna eat it with food today so it doesn't like make me feel crazy. But I didn't have coffee or matcha today and I'm very tired. So I'm kind of excited to have that be my source of caffeine. Let me show you what I'm having for lunch today. I'm kind of proud of it, mm -hmm, kind of. It's kind of leftovers from last night made into a bowl. So let me show you guys. I made some quinoa as the base of the bowl instead of rice. I kind of overcooked it, but it's okay. We have some potatoes and tofu from yesterday. Put a couple tomatoes in here to just make them nice and soft. We have some falafel balls. I don't know what the theme is here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the theme is gonna be. I think I'm gonna go for Mediterranean vibes. <laughs> so where do we start? Uh, I think this is everything, yeah. Let's part, put the sweet potatoes on one side, or the potatoes on one side. Let's do that. Let's do the tofu over here. And I was going to do chickpeas, but I remembered I had some leftover falafel, so I might as well use that. So I'm going to put the falafel balls over here. And the tomatoes over here. This would be so much better with something green. But we don't have that, so it is what it is. Adding some garlic hummus in the middle. And a little bit of tzatziki, which does have dairy. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to use this sauce. It says kebab. It says garlic kebab sauce, and this is, I guess, accidentally vegan because I looked at the ingredients and there's no milk in it, but it's like a creamy sauce. So I use it. Sprinkle a little parsley for some decoration. This is so ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna crack some black pepper on it. But yeah, this is it for lunch. And I'm gonna take this with some water. I had a shake for breakfast and I feel fine. I'm hungry now, it's two o'clock, so I'm gonna eat this with this. And then for dinner, I'll probably do like a salad or something, I don't know. Let's see how this thing is. Let's just mix everything, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't look too appetizing after I mix it all together. <laughs> it does not look appetizing at all but it tastes really good you know you get a little piece of tofu the quinoa sweet potato some falafel and a nice little bite not bad pretty good hey guys so i'm here doing my makeup i look a little ghostly right now but lunch was good i actually didn't finish it like it was a lot of food i put a lot of quinoa on the bottom I'm actually just getting ready so I can take some pictures for Instagram. I feel like I don't have many right now and I haven't done this in a while where I like just get ready and take a bunch. Okay, we are almost done. I need more lip gloss. Okay, so this is the top that I'm going with. Put on a little earring and this is my little setup. <laughs> Let me see if you guys can see. So yeah, I put this on the bed and um yeah this is how i'm gonna take my pictures i honestly could take it on this camera i should try that out to see how it is so we can get a nice clear shot but this is what i'm gonna do i might switch it out and get and use you guys i love this top it's not something i would usually buy but it's very cute yeah it has this like it looks like a corset type of thing i don't know <laughs> But it's cute. 
Hey guys. <laughs> Clearly I look a little different because it is fully the next day. So the last thing you guys saw was me doing my little photo shoot. I was taking a few pictures and if you noticed I was very low energy in those because the lunch I had eaten was slowly killing me. So you guys, I said it was amazing. It tasted good. I have a very sensitive stomach. I don't know. I feel like I mentioned that at the beginning of these vlogs, like when I started buying all these, you know, healthier foods and, you know, trying different things. I cannot digest a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm drooling. I cannot digest a lot of stuff, which is why I don't eat um, spinach. I can't eat avocados very much. I can't eat anything that's too high in fiber, too high in fat. Like, I don't know. Um, it's been hinted by a doctor that it's maybe a histamine intolerance. Uh, maybe I just struggle to digest fiber. I don't know what it is. But you guys, that quinoa that was at the bottom of my bowl killed me. I was gone for hours. Like, I got through taking a few pictures and my stomach felt like, and it's not even just like, oh my goodness, diarrhea. No, it's like the stomach cramping. Like, it, it hit my stomach up here and it, my body was like, mm -mm, we are not dealing with this. And it was like, it, it felt like I was, I ate rocks. That's the best way I can describe it. It's just cramping. Like my body just cannot digest it. I was in pain for hours. <laughs> so I didn't eat again until like 8 p.m. All because of the quinoa. Because I was like, everything else in that bowl I've eaten before, it's leftover. This stuff for that. So then I googled it and it's a thing like people sometimes just cannot digest quinoa and I think about it and I'm like I'm pretty sure this has happened to me before but I haven't had quinoa in so long that I just forgot and so now I remember why I hate it sometimes it just doesn't sit with my stomach y'all canceled that whole bag of quinoa can go in the trash because I was so sick to the point where even this morning when I would touch my stomach it still felt like it was in pain from the outside so I apologize for cutting the vlog off so abruptly, no ending, no good night, no nothing, because I was gone. <laughs> but we are back today, and today's actually going to be a good day. I wasn't vlogging much this week because I wanted to minimize just talking at home <laughs> and talking to you guys at home all the time and actually taking you guys out when I do stuff. And I knew I was going to have stuff planned this weekend, so I didn't want the vlog to be full of me talking when it could be full of adventures, you know? Even though I feel like these moments are also the parts where we like bond, you know, like we get to know each other a little bit more. But we did a lot of that last week. So this week, I'm just going to take you guys out because I'm leaving the house. Um, I'm going out with a friend tonight. We're going downtown again, kind of like what I did with Taylor. We're going to go, you know, try out some food places, kind of hop around, walk outside, get some fresh air um, because there's nothing else to do. And yeah, so we spend our time outside. We social distance. We see each other once in a while. <clears throat> and when you do see each other, protect yourselves. Wash your hands regularly. Um hang out outside don't be cooped up with like a bunch of people who are just everywhere and i'm also going to see taylor this later this weekend because we're going to this really cool plant store so yeah that's about it i just had to fill you guys in um it was rough so yeah quinoa is canceled anyways i'm going to get out of this bathroom and put on some socks i'm going to put on a hoodie and a jacket instead because it's chilly outside and i got some pictures in this top so we're good okay we're back i was just telling the vlog that we're going on a little adventure yes, we are. and um we're going to this is Rahel by the way you guys you've never you've been on my channel a long time ago a long time ago it's been so a very long time if you know you know <laughs> um like york days mm -hmm. we did one hair i think it was a hair video no we did a Make noodle. A, noodle oh yeah the spike the new in the ramen noodle thing <laughs> yeah if you guys remember that you're a real OG. Yeah. yeah. But, um, so, yeah, we're going to Ryerson area. And we're going to try some food places around there. Mm -hmm. Roman's with us. He's confused. He's like, what is this? Whose car Where is this? I? Where am I? <laughs> you want to go everywhere, so here you go. Here you go. Come on. So, yeah, so. Should be fun. It should be a good time. Yes. We'll fun. probably get some cute pics address? down there. Yes. You're going to have to help me pose. Yes. 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 Profesh. Okay. You could put you found an address to put. Yeah, I just want to double check it. Okay. Have fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're here. 
This is so cute. This is a great idea. This was Rahel's idea. It was. It's like a little strip of like restaurants, but like they're kind of like they're not trucks. They're like containers. Yeah. Oh, it's like okay. seafood. Like they have like fried mm -hmm. rice and like pineapple. That's like, one kind. Really good. Yeah. I seen the. I was like, I thought about it, and I was like, it's kind of just a bunch of cheese. Yeah. But it looks really good. Mm -hmm. I have to come back to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what you feel like eating? Greatness. Mm. Let me show. We started with some churros. Already bit mine. Yes. <laughs> and Rahel got some tacos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I found a vegan taco place, so I think I'm gonna get tacos too. Mm -hmm. So then we can have. Okay. Match of food. So I guess Mexican is the theme today. <laughs> mm. What's the Ali? Mm. One sec. Mm. It's good. So we're just casually driving through our future neighborhood, yep. Forest Hill. Look at this. Drake lives in here somewhere, by the way. Does he? Dave, he built a house in this neighborhood somewhere. These are even nothing. You can't even, these aren't even the nice Not ones, even. but. We are gonna look at these. We're gonna visualize. We're gonna pray about it. Manifesting doesn't work without prayer, okay? Nope. People? Mm -hmm. Guys, I got some vegan tacos and they look like. Tortillas full of like poop to be honest and it's like a, a vegan chorizo You know chorizo is like crumbled beef right or something sausage mm -hmm. So it's made out of tofu and potato. So it literally looks like slop yes. And it doesn't taste bad, but I'm a little traumatized from yesterday like I don't want no issues <laughs> Let's show them what we got. Yeah, I'll, let's do the shrimp because the fish already okay I already opened. Oh, but I'm sure we can. Shrimp. Ooh. These are the shrimp. They've been sitting for a minute, but they're mm. super. Mm. If you can smell that them. looks really good. Right? And they're big, like they're full. Full shrimps. Like it's shrimps. nice and packed. They're not scrimps, mm. they're shrimps. Yeah. And then this is my one. Ooh. Oh no, it fell apart. It's okay. I think it went through some things there, in the yeah. box. In the back seat. That looks so good though. But it does. Mm. So I love this literally. <laughs> Let me show you guys the vegan tacos I got. See, it looks not terrible when you look at it. Like, look, it's just... Paste. Yeah, and it tastes fine. Like, it tastes like potato and, like, tofu and stuff. What kind of seasoning? Not taco seasoning. It tastes good. Mm. I just... I mm. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll try this, eating this tomorrow or something. I ended up here. <laughs> this never fails me. Never mm -hmm. makes my stomach upset. This is the enchanted poutine poutine, the vegan one. That was our adventure. We would have preferred to be outside a bit more. It's too windy and it's too cold. It's ridiculous. So here we are. Hey guys, so it is way too late. It's actually it's not that late. It's eleven fifty and KB's here knocked out like it's two o'clock in the morning. I just finished watching one of those crime shows. Let me show you guys. It's called Night Stalker. It's this one. This crazy show. Um, yeah, I have to go grocery shopping, so I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Or I'll actually Instacart it and we'll do a nice little grocery haul through Instacart. Maybe that'll be fun. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully this vlog comes together. I feel like it's so choppy, but I always feel like that and it still ends up doing okay and you guys have been so supportive I just have to say I was very discouraged about this vlog thing when I started and after the last one I was like you guys like it so I'm really 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 happy anyways I'm gonna get ready for bed good night guys I hope your day is has been amazing whatever day you're watching this and I'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning guys. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday and Taylor and I are going to this plant house sanctuary. Is it a sanctuary? I don't know. He is so dramatic. Um, 
Taylor and I are going to this plant place, so I'm going to take you guys along, and we're probably going to get Starbucks and do, she's going to do grocery shopping since I already did, but I do need some fruit, so I'm going to get some stuff too, but it's just a regular day, relaxing Sunday, it's kind of rainy today, I'm stuffy as usual because allergies will not rest. Roman is in the back crying because he wants to be let out, he needs to go for a walk, quick walk around the block, and then I'm out of here. I'm um, going to go meet up with her, and it should be a fun day. I'm going to have a Starbucks matcha latte for breakfast. <laughs> There is a freshie next door though, so I might go check that out. Hey, we're on the way. About to pick up Miss Taylor. And then we're out. Okay, here we go. When you gotta share a car, you have to adjust everything. There we go. We're good. Okay. See you guys in a few minutes. Gonna go pick her up. Hi, it's me. <laughs> Queenie got me. We got some Starbucks. I got a London Fog and she got a matcha something, mm -hmm. matcha ice, matcha drink. And now she has uh, her chia seed pudding from Freshy. Freshy. <clears throat> this looks so scary. Look at this. Let me see. Ooh. Looks like fish eggs. Ew. Mmm, crunch. <laughs> mm. We're going to, did you tell them where we were going? Mm hmm. I'm so excited. I love plants. I'm gonna buy lots of plants. Do you know what you want? No, just whatever's pretty. <laughs> Are you gonna buy a plant? Why I'm not? just there for the photo op. Wow. <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I I can't. I'm I've accepted that I just I can't grow plants. She can. Mm -mm. You can. I believe in you. You just have mm -mm. to Google how to take care of them. I'm not interested. I think you only try that tropical plant though. Mm -hmm. You need to try like non-tropical plants. We don't live in the tropics. Well, I do have a mint plant that's doing really well, but that's because Katie's taking care of it. Okay, well, I mean, my orchid is dying. <sighs> yeah, that's a flower. You need like a thick green mm -hmm. plant to take care of, and then you just water like it a snake and plant. Smell. Yep. Mm -hmm. Those are ugly though. They're not ugly. I mean, I only Some have them plants for not. aesthetic purposes. And snake plants aren't necessarily like, unless it's on a table or like beside a bed or something and it's big. We are here. It's so it's cute. so cute. It's I cannot wait. Oh my oh. gosh. I feel like we dress perfectly for the weather too. Yep. Just I wore ready. three layers though. I wore this, this, and then I have this t-shirt. Oh, and I just, I just wore with this no bra. with no bra. Titties out. Yeah. Sometimes you need a breeze. Sometimes. Sometimes you gotta let the nips And that was even some far. Air. No, it wasn't. That was nice. That was really great. I'm so excited. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna buy all the things. Yeah, they have like trees. So if you want a tree, feel free. This is so cute. Got our little cart. This is beautiful. Wow. Honestly, I don't think I'll trust myself with any of these, but I might. What are you thinking? I just want all of the plants. I'm gonna take them all. That's a fiddle leaf plant. Oh, not ready for sale. Yeah. Some of them say sold over there too. Oh. Yeah. Not for sale. Not for sale. Huh. The one, the pizza place. Please pizza. Yes. Yeah. We, we should, should go, go there. Their their vegan pizzas are really good. True. This basil guy smells so it's good. Nicer than the one you just oh yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on one. Yeah. True. I didn't really look to be honest. Look at the difference. <laughs> you picked like the smallest of them all. Here we go. This is much Thanks, better. Thanks, plant lady. Yeah. <laughs> mm, oh my it god. It smells so good. It literally like a margarita pizza. Mmm. And then they have tomatoes. Doesn't smell like tomato, but you know, it still smells like pizza over here. So we're probably gonna go to Blaze Pizza. Hopefully, we can find a spot that's not too far from here. I think on Young Street somewhere. Oh, I think so. Yes, oh, that's yeah, the I move. I wanna look at that white flat. Oh, oh, that looks creepy. Oh no, guys, look at this. Touch it. Oh my god. Touch it. Oh my god, it, no. feels, it feels like a blanket. Maybe? Like you would cuddle with this. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? This is beautiful. This is a coffee table. 
Angel what? Wings it's called. I want one. Yeah, I'll get one. I'll get one with you. Yeah? I just and don't we know could where present this is it going. to them like it's a gift for them again. Like, look, we bought you something. You know what we do? And I think Katie's onto us. I don't know if Nathaniel's onto us yet. <laughs> Should we tell our secret? Yeah, they don't. They're, they're not gonna they're watch. <laughs> so basically, when we go out, we'll buy stuff we really want, but we'll make sure like we know how to present it in a way where it benefits them. Exactly. Just like, oh my god, we've got this plant, and like it reminded me of you, so I got it for you. I got it for you. And like, think about it for you. Yeah. But usually it's not with plants, but with other stuff that they can use. Yeah. You just say like, oh my goodness, I saw this and I figured you can make your whatever, whatever with it. And they're like, oh, okay, nice. Oh, awesome. And you're Thanks. like, <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> oh, uh, so yeah, this is one of those. So how do we present this? Like, oh my God, this would be perfect for you. I don't know, this, this is a hard one. Yeah. I'm drooling. I'm actually drooling. That looks so good. Mm. So you get to build your own pizza? I forgot to put tomatoes on mine. I'm so sad. Mine looks so weird because I just did not know what to do. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, sad. So there's <laughs> vegan chorizo on this side because I wasn't sure about it. Then I just did my regular pineapple and cheese with a bit of basil and hot peppers. This is gonna be good. The you think? Vegan chorizo, yeah. I hope so. And you got spicy sauce, so it's gonna go really well. Oh, I did. It's gonna go good. Mm, okay. Forgot about that. Yes. Wow. God bless this. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We need. I need a snap for my Instagram. Yeah. This is. We're so annoying. Oh, guys. Okay. I'm trying the vegan <clears throat> chorizo side. Mmm. Oh my god. Is it good? It's recording. Wow. This is so good. Mm. It's good? Mm-hmm. I'll try it. I don't I feel like I've tried this. Can I have this tomato? Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Oh wow. This is really good. The vegan thing doesn't like taste it? vegan. Oh, no. Yeah. Like it's um nice and creamy too. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. And this? Blood orange lemonade. You guys better go to these places that we go to because they're great. Hey guys, so it is the end of the vlog. Usually I end it on Monday right before I edit it and post it, but I have a busy day tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to sit there for hours and edit. So I'm actually going to edit tonight. It's almost 10, so I'm going to start editing now, but this walk was interesting. I hope it's a little bit shorter than last week. I know some of you don't mind the longer vlogs. I don't mind them either, but I want to switch it up. And then this next week, we'll be back in full effect um, vlogging every single day from Monday to Sunday. Um, I just wanted to see how it would be to focus more on the weekend this time and see if, you know, I still have lots of footage, which I think I do because it was quite an eventful weekend. Um, there was less sitting at home. We did not cook together at all this week, which is crazy. And I didn't cook anything this week, I don't think. Nothing that great. So, the vlog is going to end here today because tomorrow these nails are getting done bright and early. Look at this. What is what is going on? Then I have an eye appointment in the afternoon. So tomorrow's going to be a busy day. So I might not even vlog much except for like dinner time. And then that's basically it. And then we'll go into the next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing um, the cute little spots in Toronto that you can go to even though we're in lockdown. There's not much to do besides, you know, the grocery store and little outdoor places like the cluster of food truck places I showed you guys. 
and um, you know street shopping if you need to get food you can walk around get some fresh air with a friend you know breathe wear your masks if you want well not if you want if you're outside you can choose to wear your mask um, yeah and then the garden center if you want some new plants those are open not to go waste money on hobbies that you won't continue but they're open you can go check them out you can go look at some beautiful plants even if you don't buy much um, you can still get like something like I got like herbs I got basil that's it <laughs> that's all I can take care of is herbs because I eat them half the time and then um, yeah that's basically it so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it was you know a little fun a little cute and next week I'm following I'm starting my little TikTok channel tiktok channel i'm gonna start doing mini vlogs on tiktok so i'm doing vlogs on youtube and i'm doing mini vlogs on tiktok and instagram so i'm starting that tomorrow i'm excited um i think i just need to get into the swing of things and then that's it